space shuttle Discovery appears to have all systems go. Problem with ice apparently has been cleared up at the Kennedy Space Center. CNN's Tony Clark joins us now to take us through the launch. Tony? Kathy, right now the uh, ground controllers are counting down the final two minutes before the launch of Discovery. It's running about 85 minutes late because of ice on the external tank. Here you can see a live shot of uh, Discovery as it sits on launch pad 39A at the Kennedy Space Center. It was a problem of a combined problem of cold weather and ice on the external tank, thicker ice than is normal. And so what uh, NASA ground controllers chose to do was simply wait for the sun to burn off that ice, for the ice to melt. They have kind of a small window of opportunity here because there is a cold front moving in to the, the, uh, this part of Florida. And so there is an, uh, and a window of opportunity for them to launch. This is a seven-day mission that the five military crew members are headed on. They're in the final minute of the, uh, the countdown here. Here you can see it's counting down just to the the one, one minute, minute mark. T minus one minute and counting. Everything, Everything else, good. all the yeah. other uh, yeah. facets yeah. of this launch have gone smoothly. Uh, the, the weather has been uh, the only problem. Let's listen to the final 48 seconds of the countdown. T minus 45 seconds coming up for a go for auto sequence start. We have a go for auto sequence start. Discovery's four onboard computers have primary control of all the vehicle's critical functions. 20. 20. T minus 15 seconds. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. We have a go for main engine start. 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. And liftoff. Liftoff of the Space Shuttle Discovery on a seven day mission for the Department of Defense. Houston is now controlling. Discovery is maneuvering onto course. Roger roll, Discovery. Roll maneuvers complete. Placing Discovery and crew on the proper heading. Engines at 100%. are throttling back now, helping to ease discovery through the dense lower altitudes as it continues to accelerate rapidly. Engine throttles are now at 73%. is passing through the range of maximum dynamic pressure and three engines are throttling back up. Discovery, go at throttle up. Roger, go at throttle up. All engines are now running at full throttle and all systems are performing well. Altitude is now 68,000 feet. Discovery is traveling over 1,000 miles per hour. Over the next 60 seconds, as Discovery continues to climb at a relatively steep angle, the vehicle's rate of speed will virtually triple. The solid rocket boosters, each providing up to three and a third million pounds of thrust, will burn out and separate at about two minutes, four seconds. Time now, one minute, 48 seconds. Altitude, 114,000 feet, downrange 18 nautical miles. Booster chamber pressure is beginning to diminish. We're standing by for staging. What you're seeing the there now are the solid, solid rocket boosters uh, the being, the being uh, set the free. The, uh, the shuttle is running simply on its external tank. This is the start of a seven-day mission. It, is, it will be an unusual mission. This is supposed to be the last military Department of Defense mission for the shuttle. It will be unusual because it is part classified and part unclassified. Once the astronauts get on orbit, they will go into what is virtually a news blackout while uh, they deploy what is believed to be a Defense Department spy satellite over the Middle East. 
That deployment set about six hours into the mission. Then once that is done, they will go into secondary payload and we will be able to hear more about what the astronauts are doing. The uh, traditional kinds of things that we often see during shuttle missions, uh, shots of the, uh, the shuttle's payload bay and Earth views, will not be seen during this mission because, uh, because of the classified nature of this, uh, this mission. Even shots of the payload bay will not uh, be beamed down. Uh, NASA, the military, does not want to give any indication of the, the kind of even the carrier system used to, to deploy the satellite. There are a variety of other things that will be done aside from the deployment of the uh, spy satellite. One of the things, a, a camera will be taken on board and tried out. This is a, an, a unique camera that when it takes a picture, it marks the latitude and longitude of the site uh, photograph. That was a first. They will also be doing some uh, tissue tests. And one thing, uh, an, un an unusual test, will be to uh, release six spheres, six uh, little metal balls, two inch, four inch, and six inches in diameter, and those will be used uh, as part of a test of orbital debris. It's an increasing problem uh, in space, the amount of space yep. junk, and one of the things NASA wants to do is try and calibrate its radar so it can identify the size of, of space junk. It is an important consideration in uh, creating a uh, space station because of the amount of, of floating materials, uh, both from discarded rockets and uh, satellites that have, have only partially uh, burned up uh, as they orbit the Earth. What we have seen this morning is a, another picture-perfect launch. It was uh, 85 minutes behind schedule. Again, the problem combination of of low temperatures at the Kennedy Space Center and uh, ice forming on the external tank when they put in the half million gallons of uh, uh, liquid hydrogen and, and liquid oxygen. They, uh, it forms an ice on the external tank and the uh, concern was that that ice was too thick. They simply waited for the ice to melt and then uh, they uh, waited for it to melt. There was an opening in the clouds, and it was time to uh, begin that seven-day mission. Of course, we will follow the astronauts throughout this seven-day and bring you updates throughout the seven-day mission. I'm Tony Clark in CNN Center. We'll be back in just a minute.